So, I was using this DJI Osmo Pocket Generation 1 today. This little vlogging device, let's see if it'll focus, there we go. This thing has been with me for five years. I took it to Hawaii, I take it on almost every vacation that I have. This lever in this arm, it is a mechanical stabilization. So it, it's on a gimbal, it's a built-in gimbal, and it stabilizes all of my shots. If you have seen me film anything with handheld movement, I am terrible. I do not have a steady hand at all. And this thing is great. It's got its limitations, the sensor is tiny, it's bad in low light, uh, obviously the built-in microphones are awful. You know, it's, it's not great, but it's so small and it's so portable and it's so inconspicuous that when you take it out, 90% of the people have no idea what it is. You don't feel awkward using it in public and you get all of this great footage, which I'll probably overlay. Like I said, a lot of fond memories of this device. And I bought this man purse that I did a video on, which will probably be posted. It'll definitely be posted before this video. And I had this, I've been, I've been trying to just keep this around with me so I can take more footage, right? I could take more videos and hopefully I'll capture something interesting. Although a snake decided to help itself to my house last night. And of course, no brain, like I, that would have been a fun video of me. It was a baby snake. It was not a big deal, but my wife freaked out. Point being is it'd be nice to have a handheld camera to keep with me and to take footage and to do fun things. So I'm trying to have something like that around. And you're probably saying, that's really nice, Joe. What's the point of your video? What, 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 what are you getting at? I took the camera out today and I was told there was an app update. Great. And I was hoping maybe there's a little bit of firmware update and maybe it'll fix the battery issue, but I think the battery's just dying on this thing. So I try to update the firmware and I can't, I can't download the app from the app store because long, long story short, this is DJI product. DJI, who makes drones and gimbals and action cameras, and I have all of those things, they're on some kind of list. Google and Apple have not updated and are, and are not making the DJI Mimo, which is what the app the software that controls this thing. They haven't let this software on their app store in a, at least a year, right? So the version that I have on my phone right now is version 1.5.3. There is a version 1.8.2 that's available out in the internet. You have to go to DJI's website to download it. And I assume you were going to need to download that APK file and download it to your phone and somehow install it to use any of the new action cameras that DJI is selling. And I'm also wondering whether or not the applications for the drones are also under this, I guess, technological embargo. The bottom line is, is that Google and Apple are both deeming this DJI software to be so full of spyware and security concerns, mostly from the Chinese government, that they're not allowing this app to be downloaded from their app stores. I guess I would say for the last three or four years, I've been pretty hardcore DJI. I've been buying the drones. There's really not even a choice. There's the only game in town. So the drones, the gimbals, the, again, the action cameras, I was really legitimately thinking about buying the new DJI Osmo Action 3. I was thinking about getting that. I'm not a fan of action cameras. They're really fun when you want to when you want to dive into the water, and you want something to go into the water with you. And so this is a Hero Four, right? So I have a Hero Four. This is a this is a Hero Seven Black, and this is the last one that I bought. So I figured I was due for an upgrade, and I've been investing in much better cameras like the Sony line. But I figured I needed an action cam, and I know that this one was starting to die, and I was thinking about getting the newest one that just came out and um it's kind of they're designed this way now they're, they're kind of going away from this model because you don't really need the i guess you don't need the stabilizer of the gimbal anymore because the software has gotten so good so they're all kind of coming out this way 
uh, which is this traditional action cam style. And I really th thought it was time. It was time to upgrade. I don't upgrade every year, but I didn't like the DJI Action 2. It's this. It was this modular, small camera design. I wasn't a big fan of that, and um, I didn't like that you had to buy the module for the batteries, and it was like 60-something dollars or more. So if you wanted more battery, you had to keep buying these battery module packs, and I wasn't a fan of that. But they went back to sort of this style with replaceable batteries, and yeah, I was going to buy it. And then this happened today where I'm, where I'm like, oh, let me get into the habit of using something like this just to see if I can get more footage, B-roll, capture things that I wouldn't normally bring my camera out for and just see what happens. And uh, so I've been trying to get into the practice of doing that with my man purse and having a camera in there. And then I started to just do this research when I tried to upgrade the application software today. And uh, I was just really disappointed. Politics aside, I think that it's probably reasonable to assume that there might be something that an average consumer, if they knew about it, they probably wouldn't want it in there in the software. If Google and, and Apple are both not allowing the most recent version of the software to be on the app stores, there's probably a good reason why. And it is a very convoluted process to download the APK file. Even if you download it, you have to shut off other protections on the phone to download the app. And I was going through it and I'm like, it's probably not a good idea to do this. I saw there was a lot of reaction videos on the internet about not being able to download the app and it's people saying, Google, get your crap together, Apple, get your crap together, and DJI, get your crap together. But this is not an app issue. This is a personal security issue. And as these new devices, as these new Osmo Action 3s have come out, I don't hear anybody talking about this. So I'm not sure if there is a new app that came out for the DJI Osmo Action 3 that's not the Mimo app, and it somehow magically passed certain criteria. For my drone, I have the smart controller for the drone, which bypasses the Google Store altogether. So it just gets its updates from God only knows where, and it probably is riddled with security tracking software and all kinds of weird stuff. But I don't use the drone that much, and that's honestly not an excuse. As all of this application snafus are happening this morning, I'm currently in the process of reading a book called This Is How They Tell Me The World Ends by a New York Times writer. Hold on, let me check. Nicole Perlroth. Paulina, thank you for the recommendation. So this book is literally about cyber war and Russia and Ukraine and China. It is literally about how there are all these zero day exploits and built in backdoors and attempting to get built in backdoors and, and like and Huawei software. And then the US government is trying to do, use zero day exploits to do espionage and all the other countries are doing it. It's a crazy book. You should check it out. I will probably, as I'm talking about it, I'll probably put a picture like right here or something like that. But the point is, is that I'm reading this book and I'm reading about personal security. And again, I'm a nobody. There's nothing inherently interesting about what I do. But you know, every global citizen should do what they can to try to protect their personal information and personal security and banks and all that stuff. So like, yeah, you try to do the things. The book's a little scary. It's a little alarming about the things that these countries can do and the things that could potentially happen in the future. And the fact that Google and Apple are not letting this particular application proliferate on their networks is telling to me. Apple more so than Google, Apple is a lot more strict about what's in their app store, but even Google is taking issue with this particular app and maybe other DJI apps. And I don't know if DJI is just a victim of some political snafu right now because I remember during the Trump presidency they were on the list and there was some talk about it but it never really got a ton of mainstream attention I was kind of aware of it and then it all seemed to dissipate but this is still happening these apps are still not available in the store and you have to go to the DJI website to download the latest version of the app there are issues with the with the downloads it is more complicated 
And is there a more pervasive issue? If you download the DJI server version of that application, what, are el what else are you downloading? In my effort to carry around a small camera in my man purse so I could capture cool footage should it arise, I may, I'm really thinking about pivoting to GoPro. It's a US-based company, US-based software. Uh, the software doesn't have the embargoes on it. Uh, and, uh, and, I, and I guess it's safer. I, what is safe anymore anyway? But, I, you know, that, that MIMO software was really cool. The, the things that you can do with it, the things that you can control, it was a good user experience. And uh, I guess I'm just, I'm just really sad that the thing, you know, this, this great little camera that's been by my side for five years, it, it's dying. It's on its way out. And I was thinking about buying the newest iteration of it, the newest version of, of this so I can have a tool to use and, and I don't have the best feelings about it right now. And I'm, I'm doing this video to open up a debate, right? If, if people watch this and they see it and they want to comment on it, I, I would appreciate it. I want to hear what your experiences are and what your feedback is. Uh, and if you've had other issues with DJI products or other Chinese made products, if there's uh, other apps that we're not getting updates on in the app stores. So thank you for watching. Think about liking this video and potentially subscribing to the channel, but you don't have to. I'm that, you know, that that's on you. It's not a big deal. I'm not making money off of this channel, but it's nice to know that people are watching and they like what I'm doing or, you know, make a comment. I don't know. Have a great day. Good luck with your software and with your products, and I hope you don't have any security violations. Take care.